Hi, my name is Wade Tolles. I'm a senior sustainability software application specialist at IBM. And today's how-to session is going to be about the IBM Common Licensing Licensed Server Administration and Reporting Tool. Now, this is part one of a, of a series where I'm just going to talk about the installation and configuration of the 9.0 version of the administration and reporting tool. What we're going to do is we're going to show how that tool can work with the 8.1.6 version of the license server to identify how the licenses are being used. The version 8.1.6 license server is no longer supported by IBM as of April of 2022. So the next part in this series will be how to install the 9.0 license server. There are a couple of things to keep in mind for this installation when you do it. First of all, we're going to be installing version 9, iFix 5 of the License Key Server Administration and Reporting Tool, as well as the agent. We're not going to be installing a licensed server. We're going to be working with the existing 8.1.6 license server that's being used for an existing Jazz server. The next thing to, to understand is this tool requires its own dedicated database. So we're going to install DB2 Standard Edition, and we're going to use a database for the tool. The third thing to, to know is that the recommended disk space requirements for this is 100 gigabytes. Our virtual machine has 80 gigabytes. And finally, the recommended memory is 8 gigabytes of RAM. So with those things in mind, let's go ahead and get started with our demonstration today. As I noted, we're going to be working in the Windows 2019 environment. We have three primary servers and a database server that we're working with, the Jazz 702, which has the JKE banking project running. Note that the server, the license server, is uh, has the token licenses installed, and it is pointing at our IBM 8.1.6 license key server for the licenses, for the token licenses. Today we'll be working with a third virtual server, the license key server 9. And that's the server that we're going to be focusing on for the next few minutes. We also have a database server uh, that's running that, that provides the database for the Jazz server, but we will not be using that server for our installation today, we're going to install an independent database on our Rational License Administration Reporting Server. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the Installation Manager. We're going to run the application as an administrator. You can download that from Passport Advantage or from the jazz.net, but uh, just down download the latest version of it. Once that opens up, uh, it is ready to install so go ahead and click next and uh, select the default uh, uh, accept the agreement instead of the default folder change the folder or just remove program files and change to the IBM folder and then go ahead and click install once that installation is completed we're going to close the installation manager and we're going to install the DB2 server We'll go into the DB2 folder and we will run the installation or rather the setup file as an administrator. And we'll go to install a product and run the install process. Once the setup window completes its loading, we'll click Next, accept the agreement, accept the typical installation. We're not going to save this to a file, so go ahead and just install it. Like we did previously, we're going to remove program files and just install to an IBM folder.
We'll keep the DB2 admin username and enter a password. Accept the default instance name. We will not send notifications. We'll accept the default groups and let the system create it. And then the tool will tell us what our settings were and we can click next and begin the installation. And that takes a few minutes to complete, but I've shortened it here. So when it's done, go ahead and click finish. When you click finish, a welcome page will open up and you can close that. We're not going to create a sample database. But what we are going to do once we've closed that is open up a command window and enter db2cmd, which will take us into the db2 command line window, and enter db2 and actually go to the db2 command line. From the db2 command line, enter create database ARTDATA using code set UTF-8 territory default and then in quotes we'll go ahead and enter the comment or rather with then in quotes RLKS administration slash usage data close quote and click enter and that'll take a second or two but once it's done we will have created our art data database to use with our administration and reporting tool when it finishes enter quit we can then close the db2 folder and from there, we're going to switch over to our 8.1.6 license server, where I've stored the 9.0 agent for the reporting tool. And then we'll open up the installation manager, go to the preferences file, make sure that uh, we are, or make sure that we have uh, the, the agent in the preferences folder. And once we make sure we do, we'll go to the install and we will install the agent. We'll accept or hit next, accept the license agreement. We will change our folder, remove program files, install to the IBM folder. And accept the defaults, the, which will set the port assignment for the agent. The agent will identify the log file and the license files that are installed on that server and we'll accept those defaults and click next. And then we'll click install. One thing that we'll do while we're waiting for that to install is make sure that our firewall ports are open on our license server for the agent, which is ports 5043 and 4080. And that way our reporting tool can actually see uh, the agent. Once the installation has completed, we can close the installation manager on the 8.1.6 license server. We can return to our reporting tool server and then install the license key server reporting tool there. We open the installation manager and then we go to the preferences, locate the installation file, add that to the repository, And then we can begin the install. As previously, we accept the license agreement, change the folder,
And that's just a convenience, really. And we can begin the installation. Again, once that's done, we can close the installation manager. At this point, we can go into our menu and start the license key server administration and reporting tool. Then we'll go to our task manager and check the services and see that it starts properly. Before we go any further, we need to connect to the art data database and give DB2 admin user DB admin rights to that database. To do that, you enter the command DB2 connect to art data, then enter the command DB2 grant DB admin to your ADM on database to user DB2 admin, and then disconnect from the database. And now when we go to configure it later, the DB2 admin will be able to have access to that database. Now we can connect to the report server at the website, which is the HTTPS, the URL for the server, I, at port 4743 and RCLADMIN. Since it's a self-signed certificate, go ahead and accept the risk. And then the user is RCL admin. And the password is RCL admin. First thing the tool wants you to do is set up the database. And the host name is the host name that you have for your database server. In our case, that is the server that we're on now. The port number is the default port number in this case for DB2, which is 50,000. The user ID for the database, as we did just a few seconds ago, is DB2 admin. And the password is the password for the DB2 admin account. After we've tested the connectivity of the database, we can click save and then finish. It's okay to save the password if you want at this point. And we'll close our other windows, log out of the website, and restart the license server administration and reporting tool. We can validate that the tool is stopped and then restarted by going to the services window on the task manager. It stopped, so we're going to go ahead and start it. And once that's running again, we can go back and log in to the administration and reporting tool again. Once we've logged back into the reporting tool, we need to add the license server or servers that we want to track at this point. So we're going to call this the 816 license key server. The agent host is the host that that server is running on. And that is also the server that we installed the agent on a few minutes ago. At port 5043. Now, if it doesn't start, we need to validate that the agent is running on the license key server. and check that the server is running. And we'll note here that in this case, it is stopped. So we simply go to the menu and start the agent. Once that is started and is running, we can go back to our reporting tool server 
and we should be able to connect to this server. And when we go back to the reporting tool server, and when we add it, we see that it does add the server. Now that we've connected to a licensed server and a report server is up and running, we can immediately look at live reports of the licenses that are on the licensed server. So what we'll do is we'll go into our JS server. Note that we are pulling token licenses from our 816 server. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into one of the projects in the requirements tool on the JS server. And I'm going to go into the artifacts and open an artifact from one of the modules so that I can uh, use one of the licenses on the license server. And it really doesn't matter what, which one at this point. I'm just opening the tool so that I can use a license. Now if we go back and we refresh the license server, we'll see that we are using the requirements management doors next license. Finally, if you want to create more Detailed reports, you go into the report definitions, name your report, select your license server and the products, and then select which kind of metric you want to see. Now, in this particular case tonight, uh, this is a brand new setup, so there's not much uh, use in setting up a lot of these reports because nothing's been, uh, there's no licenses being used, and there's no history, so there's nothing to report on really. But this gives you an idea of the kinds of things you can do with the report server and the kinds of reports you can run. Uh, you can see how many tokens are used and there. You can see the server that we're, we're uh, monitoring um, and you have access to the uh, numbers of licenses that are being used all at a glance uh, from installing the license key server administration and reporting tool. And that's it uh, for this discussion. I hope it was helpful. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I can be reached at kenneth.tolls at ibm.com. Have a great evening.